Welcome to Cheese Therapy TV. This is episode two. I can't believe they invited us back to do another one. But anyway, how good's that? It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. In this episode, we're going to take a bit more of an in-depth look at stinky cheese. I love a good stinky. Mm, yeah, yeah, so good. <laughs> and on the cheese wire, we're going to answer some of your top questions as well. And, uh, you know, stinky cheese is in there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I've got a great recipe for you. Mm -hmm. It's Le Duc. It's oh. a French cheese. Mm. And the guys in the team have been cooking up a storm with that one. Oh, it's beautiful. Love a good baked Le Duc. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you are going to talk about Brewer's Gold today. So. Damn right. Mm. Washed in beer. How so can you good. go wrong? That, yeah. That's got a good stink to it. <laughs> sure has. <laughs> <laughs> and then my mate Adam's going to head down to a possible way, meet Julian down there. Adam is our number one cheese angel based down in Victoria. Mm -hmm. Uh, always a very passionate kind of guy. So he's going to take us for a wander around a possible way down along the Great Ocean Road. So sit back, grab a piece of cheese and enjoy the show. And a glass of wine. <laughs> there. Hey guys, just got to ask a question. How is it best to store a cheese? So on the rare occasion where you may not eat all of your cheese, what do you do with it? So. Let me, I'll take you into my little thing here. Right, so here's the cheese. Now, the, base, the basic rule of thumb is that if it has been cut like this one, so this is uh, Stone and Crow's Moonshine, if it's been cut like this and it's not a complete cheese, so that's the rind there, it's got an open face there, the biggest thing that's going to affect this cheese is going to be oxygen. If you get oxygen onto that face, that's where it starts to, to foul. Um, so the best thing is going to be clay wrap. So here's a, here's a great one. This is Sam Simon. Look at this one, a bit like a booby. <laughs> a good Spanish cheese. Doesn't need to be wrapped because it's still got the rind intact. But if we go to, what else have we got in here? Here's another one. This is Grandview's Gin Herbalist. This is a bloody ripple little cheese from uh, down in Tassie. Another one, see it's been cut, the rind has been cut. You need to take all the oxygen out of it so that it doesn't foul. So, hot tip, if you need to cut through that rind and store it again, pop it back into some blood wrap. So there you go. Hi cheese lovers. Well, as you can probably imagine, we get asked questions about cheese every single week, all the time. And one of the questions I get asked a lot is, Helen, I love, love, love stinky cheese, but how do I keep it in my fridge without making my whole fridge smell like stinky cheese and everything else in my fridge smell like stinky cheese? And that's a great question because you don't want to miss out on stinky cheese just because you don't want to keep it in your fridge, right? So my tip is, once you've opened up your packet of cheese and you've cut off some and you want to wrap it back up, stick it back in your fridge, put it into a glass container, not into a plastic container. So the plastic will still absorb that smell and that will infiltrate out of that plastic and you'll still smell it throughout the fridge, whereas a glass container will contain that smell. So make sure you get a glass container that's airtight, preferably with a glass lid on it as well with a, you know, a little airtight seal. And that way, your whole fridge won't smell like stinky cheese. Uh, and another great question as well is, can I use my beautiful artisan cheese in cooking? Of course you can. And don't feel guilty about it either because, I mean, food, the ingredients in food are just as important as the overall dish itself. So if you've got really great quality ingredients like artisan cheese and it's going to make your dish even more delicious, so don't feel guilty about cooking with your beautiful artisan cheese and don't worry about scaring the whole family away with stinky cheese in your fridge because now you know how to keep it in there without making your whole fridge smell like cheese. And um, if you've got any more questions, please keep commenting and uh, each week we will answer your questions. Bye.
What's in the box this week? Wow, check this out. Coming close. Look at that. Oh man, I love this thing. This is called Brewer's Gold from Prom Country, made by Burke and Bronwyn Brandon. It is just a beautiful cow's milk cheese that's actually been washed in a dark pail. You can see already that this wash line is already starting to break down and start to go gooey on the outside as it comes in further into the centre. It is just a beautiful example of a cheesemaker just wanting to try something a little bit different. Just the man, the smell of this when you get it, you're gonna love it. So that's it. Brewer's gold. You really need to try this. Our Chief Cheese Angel Adam went on a very special venture to visit our wonderful cheesemakers, Apostle Way in Victoria. Launched in 2005 and just a short drive from the 12 Apostles on the Great Ocean Road, Apostle Way cheese owners Julian and Diane Benson are passionate about sustainable farming and creating boutique artisan produce. And what a perfect day for Adam to visit, even managing to catch a glimpse of the Mooness monster. Let's see what he gets up to. Julian started by taking Adam on a drive around the luscious green fields to meet some of his good friends. So these are the uh, calves. These are only about uh, about six weeks old, I suppose. Yeah, we look after them very well. They get well fed, uh, well looked after. And us farmers, we you know, we could end up spending anything between, you know, up to $100 just on the maintenance of a cow as far as veterinary goes. And of course, Adam had to make a stop at the maternity ward. Few days old. Yeah. Have a look at them. Ready to go. Yeah, and here the, the those ones with the ear tags are the heifers that'll go into the herd later on, a couple of years' time. Don't get a look at my face, do you? No, it's fine. <laughs> Apostle Way has become an important tourism draw card for the region due to their passion to be a genuine paddock to plate operation. And when Julian was showing Adam the layout of Apostle Way and explaining the history, he couldn't resist telling Adam their little inside joke. And our name, Lubatol, you've got to read it back, backwards to appreciate it. It's a lot of bull. Yeah. <laughs> Adam was then shown how the milking process works for the cows. The cows love it. They just come on, they get a feed, they get round, it takes about 10 minutes to go around uh, from where they get on, and then they just reverse off and um, they go down the, uh, down the paddock. And with our paddock system, we've got 26 uh, night paddocks, 26 day paddocks, so they don't actually go back into the, uh, that same paddock for another 26 days on average because of the amount that we're trying to control the quality of the grass. Adam was blown away by the number of prestigious awards Apostle Way have won over the years, including their most recent. And last year, we got a, a silver for our bulkies in the International Cheese Show over in Nantwich in England, and also our Brie got champion, uh, got another gold medal, I should say, gold medal for uh, that. It made us really proud because, you know, we're only a small operator. But um, you've got to benchmark yourself against others just to see how you line up, you know. Us cheesemakers here in Australia, just as good as what they can do. Why do you want to buy something with a name? Because it's, you know, made in France. We can, you know, buy some really good cheeses here that made at home, you know. Thank you, Julian and Diane, for showing us behind the scenes of your beautiful farm at Apostle Way Cheese. And make sure you keep an eye out for our chief cheese angel, Adam, on his next Meet the Maker adventure. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed our sticky cheese special. Oh, definitely, H Dog. It's been awesome. <laughs> Can't believe that uh, that's the end of our second episode, but certainly uh, I hope that everybody's enjoyed it because we really want you to have a greater experience of cheese and also a deeper understanding. Now, if you've got any questions, please. Put it into the comments and we'll answer it on the next show. Mm, absolutely. And if you want to keep watching more of these cheesy videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Come on, there's nothing cheesy about it. <laughs> Bye.